Hi there, this is Phil with Phil FilFX. I've got another quick tutorial. Uh, this tutorial comes thanks to uh, Anna Hoholi. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. She had a question on uh, my keyframing, a walk cycle, and After Effects, where she was getting uh, some distortions on her uh, objects when she was doing a rotate. And I believe I have an answer to uh, what the issue is that she might be having. Uh, it has to do when you do a non-uniform scaling on some of your objects and you have them parented in After Effects. Uh, so to demonstrate this I've got uh, just a couple of uh, objects in a project I brought in. I made a, a large red circle you can see here and a, a smaller blue one and we've put them into a uh, composition and uh, this composition, so you know, is set so the uh, pixels are square. And we have the red ball here and the blue ball here. And so let me take both of these and select them. And I'll hit S for so we can see scaling. And I'll hit Shift R so you can see the rotation on these two. And at the moment, uh, there's no parenting going on. And they're both scaled uh, at 100%. Uh, on the red one, I turned off the uh, locking of the scale so I can scale it differently in X uh, versus Y. So let me do that and let me take this and we're going to scale this to 50%. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Let's deselect the blue one. Just select the red one and scale that 50% in Y. So we have that smashed a little bit in Y and we have the blue one scaled at 100% and 100%. Now let me take the small blue ball and I'm going to parent this. We'll take the Pickwick up here and I'm going to parent that to the red one. Now notice what happened when I did that. If we look at the scaling here on this blue ball, it was 100 and 100, but now it's saying 100 and 200%. Why is that? Well, because when you parent something, the size of that object shouldn't change from what the original uh, size was. But because there is a non-uniform scaling on the object that you're parenting it to, in this case we have 50%, in order for the blue ball to remain the same size, we have to scale this to 200%. So the product of 50% times 200% is 100%. So with the, the size that the blue ball was originally. And now that these are parented, this translation and this non-uniform scaling that we have on the on the uh, parent on the red ball here is always going to apply to this child. So if I go in and I take this uh, blue ball and I rotate this, watch what happens. So as I'm rotating it, we're getting a distortion on that blue ball as it rotates around, and then it comes back. And if we get exactly to 180, that should be exactly spherical again and then as I start to rotate it around some more it's going to get distorted. It's getting distorted because we have this distortion, this non-uniform scaling that we have on the top level object. Now why this is probably happening with your characters is because you created a top level uh, null with nothing in between or you grabbed the top level object. Uh, maybe it was the torso and you brought it in and you decided it wasn't the right size for your project. So you went and scaled it, but you not only scaled it, you scaled it non-uniform. In other words, you scaled it different in X versus the scaling that you have in Y. And because the scaling is different, this non-uniform scaling that you have on the top level object is going to ripple down and it will apply to every single object that you have in this case, if you had a full character, that non-uniform scaling is going to apply to the arms and legs, shins, feet, everything that makes up that character. And it's going to be a problem. You're going to get a dis distortion every time that you try to do a rotation on one of your lower level, lower level objects. So how do you fix this? Well, there's a couple ways you can do it. One way to do it is you scale your object so it's the correct size outside of After Effects. And so you have the, the correct aspect ratio in height and width to what you want. And maybe you do that in Photoshop or maybe it's a vector file and you do that in Illustrator. But you correct your uh, scaling for your object outside of After Effects. 
that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is if you if that's not acceptable or you can't do that, there's another quick way to do this is we go in here and we uh, uh, let me take and unparent this and we go in to our layer new and we add a null object. So by adding this null object, <coughs> pardon me, by adding a null object, this sits between the blue ball <coughs> and the red ball. And the one thing I do want to find out is you, you need to make sure that the position of the null is at the same position uh, of the uh, top level object. In this case, the position of the null is at 320 and 320 and the position of the red ball is 320 and 320. So I have these two positioned in the same place. This is important because any scaling that's applied to the null needs to be uh, scaled at the exact same position of the, uh, the uh, parent above it. So we go in and now I can go in here and take this null and we'll parent the null to the red ball and then if I take this and we say scaling S so we sit scaling and do a shift R so we even have rotation so we can see that and we'll pull this up so we can see everything on here and now then I take the blue ball and I'm going to parent that to the null notice what's happened now the blue ball its rotation is 100 and 100, or its scaling, excuse me, I apologize. The scaling is 100%, 100%. This null has absorbed this scale factor that it has to do in between. So I can go in now on the blue ball, and I can do a rotation, and look at that. It stays exactly the size you want to, independent of the rotation. The, the uh, red ball, because the null is in between, and everything is parented in between, if I went to... The, uh, the red ball and I wanted to do a rotation I can do a rotation and it will behave exactly as you thought but the thing of it is is now uh, it isn't going to put that uh, non-uniform scaling on everything else that sits beneath it so hopefully this clears this up I hope this makes sense and this has been Phil with Phil effects thanks a lot bye, -bye.